What's up, I'm Vin, and today I want to show how to rationalize the denominator. So let's say we have an expression like this, the nth root of a to the m, where m is less than n and a is greater than 0. Then to get that radical to disappear, we're going to multiply by this expression here. So I'll look at a simple example. Let's say we have the fifth root of a to the second power, and we want to get that radical to disappear. Then we're going to multiply by the fifth root of a to the power, and the secret here is knowing 2 plus what number is going to give us the index of 5. The missing number would be 3. And now when we multiply these, we would have the fifth root of a to the power 5, because a squared times a to the third is a to the 5. And this would just simplify to a. Now, if you did use the formula, you could see here that n, in this case, is equal to 5. m is equal to 2. And that new power to multiply by n minus m would be 5 minus 2, which is equal to 3. So that's why we multiply by, multiply by this which will get the radical to disappear, giving us just a. Now the first two questions here are somewhat simple, but we are going to apply that concept from before to the later examples. So for this one here, if I want to rationalize this denominator, that means I don't want an irrational number down bottom. So I'm going to multiply the bottom of this fraction by square root 6. But if I multiply the bottom by square root 6, I have to multiply the top by square root 6. Otherwise, I would be changing the value. So now we're going to have 1 times square root 6 is square root 6. And now when I do square root 6 times square root 6, that's just going to equal 6. Just be mindful with square roots. If you do square root x times square root x, this is always equal to x, provided that x is greater than 0. So we could use that idea for the second question, except first what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite this square root as the square root of 5 over the square root of 2. And now the goal is to rationalize the denominator. So we're going to multiply by square root of 2 over the square root of 2 like this. And now what that's going to do is we have radical 5 times radical 2 is radical 10. And then radical 2 times radical 2, we're using this idea, is just going to give us 2. So this is our solution to the second example. So now we're using the notes from before. We want to get this radical to disappear down bottom. We want to rationalize the denominator. So we're going to multiply by the cube root of 5 to the power 1. Because remember, we want to multiply by a power such that this power plus this power equals the index on the outside. But whatever we multiply the bottom by, we have to do the same thing to the top. So we're going to multiply by the cube root of 5. So now this is going to be equal to 8 times the cube root of 5 over, and on bottom we're going to have the cube root of 5 to the third power, because we're doing 5 squared times 5 to the first. So just add those exponents. And now on bottom, the cube root of 5 to the third is just equal to 5. So we're going to have a 5 on bottom, and we're going to have 8 cube root of 5 on top. So for the fourth example here, we want to get rid of this radical on bottom. So we're going to multiply by the sixth root of b to the power 4, because if we were to do 2 plus 4, that's going to give us 6. So we're just applying that property from before. So now we have, on top, we have to multiply by the sixth root of b to the fourth power like this. And now when we multiply across the top, we're going to have a times the sixth root of b to the fourth. And on bottom, we're going to have the sixth root of b to the power 6. And these are going to cancel out here, just giving us b on bottom. And then on top, this is bothering me, leaving it a little bit unsimplified. So I would probably rewrite this as a times b to the power over root. Remember, to convert from radical to rational exponent form, you write the power over the root. And now I could reduce that fraction 4 over 6 to 2 over 3. And then from here, because we want our denominator to stay rational, I'm not going to combine those two. But I am going to rewrite the b to the 2 thirds as the cube root of b squared. And then on bottom, we'll go ahead and write our b. And here's our solution. OK, so here's our final example. And for this one, this is one option, is to write this as the fifth root of c to the third power on bottom, writing it in radical form so we could use that rule that we copied down from before. So now we can multiply the bottom by the fifth root of c squared, since 3 plus 2 is going to match the index 5 on the outside. But then we have to multiply the top by the same thing like this. So now we're going to have 1 times the fifth root of c squared, which just gives us the fifth root of c squared. And then we're going to have the fifth root of c to the fifth on bottom. So this is going to simplify to the fifth root of c squared over. And these are going to cancel out, giving us just c. So here's our, ans our answer to the final question.